Okay, uh, let's do some uh, unit conversions and then um, I'll let you out of here. Okay, so the first one, uh, first question we've got is how many donuts are in 3.5 dozen? So we've got, you want to write down what the problem tells you first. So how many dozen we've got? We've got 3.5 um, dozen, we'll say. And we know our conversion factor, right, is uh, one dozen equals 12 donuts. A lot of times you'll um, say anything that's like a number or something, like five cars or something like that. You'll give it the um, variable of n. But anyway, so you've got your unit conversion, so let's make a conversion factor out of it. Remember what we do, we just take one and divide it by the other. How can we do that? Well, we can say divide both sides by 12 donuts. And of course, 12 donuts over 12 donuts cancels out to give you one. So you can multiply anything by one. Remember, we talked about this. You can multiply anything by one, and it's the same thing. So, since this conversion factor is equal to 1, and so is the inverse of it, we can use those to convert from dozens to donuts. Okay, so let's do that. And this is what you do in your head when you figure out if the guy at the donut store gave you the right amount or not. So, just put 12 donuts on top and one dozen on the bottom. Why do I use this one instead of this one? I don't use that one because I want to cancel out my dozens and I want to get donuts. So, dozen over dozen cancels out and we get donuts um, left over. So remember, if we don't have units, the thing is worthless. Our number is worthless. So how do we figure this uh, number out? How many um, donuts are in 3.5 dozen? Well, all we do is take 3.5, multiply it by 12. And we get 42. And remember, sig figs only come from the measured number, not from the conversion factor. So, 42 donuts. And that's the answer. Okay, we'll do a couple more of these.